morning friends okay um i wanted to hop on here really quick and show you guys how i am making my own dryer sheets um i've been doing this recipe for some time and i really love um how healthy it is how easy it is how much money it saves us um and now that i'm doing laundry every single day because mike is still going into work and he has to take his clothes off in the garage that goes straight into the wash. Um, I find that I'm using these a lot more often. Um, so why do you wanna make your dryer sheets? Uh, except for obviously saving you money. Um, dryer sheets are super toxic. And if you ever been to a dermatologist with any type of health concerns, um, it is the first thing that they tell you to stop using. And it's because they're full laden with chemicals um, that companies don't have to claim because they've been grandfathered in and there's no testing on them. So, and this includes not only exposing your clothes to it, but the aroma or the chemicals that are being expelled out of your dryer into your neighborhood um, can also affect your neighbor's health. So, um, you know, whatever we can do to make our um, lives a little healthier and save a little bit of money while we're doing it, even better. And yes, I have makeup on today. <laughs> today was makeup day. Um, all right, so what you're going to need is um, distilled white vinegar. I get a big container of it from Costco. Um, and the great thing about the vinegar is that once it goes into the dryer and it's going through the dryer cycle, um, the it pretty much evaporates um, in the dryer and it doesn't smell like vinegar at all. Um, you're going to need some sort of material of some sort. I like to use like scraps of flannel. So this is why I have Superman one and <laughs> like Chevron ones. And I would say, and honestly, it doesn't have to be fancy. I mean, I think like six by six ish is roughly fine. This is obviously a rectangle. I didn't finish the edges and I've been using these pieces for a while. So they're not fraying that much. They're not leaving it in the um, dryer. So you're just going to fold it um, into little chunks. Um, and these wipes are a little bit thicker and these are actually the old wipes that I used to use for um, my daughter when she was being cloth diapered. So they're like six years old, they're super clean, but if you want to use something like this, you certainly can. Um, you're going to need a container, a glass container. I got this um, many years ago from, um, what's that place called? Home Goods. But you probably have something hiding in your house somewhere that has a screw on lid. You just obviously, if you want something that has a lid on it because the vinegar will evaporate. Um, and this is great because it's got a little thing like this. So you're going to need something like this. You're going to, let's see, white vinegar container, um, big stack of flannel or something like that. And then essential oils, um, for uh, a nice aroma. So I have a couple oils that I really like. I really love citrus oils. Um, that citrus fresh as it's coming out of the driver dryer um, is just really refreshing to me. So um, you common ones that I like to use are like grapefruit and lemon or grapefruit and lavender or lavender and lemon, whatever I'm in the mood for. Um, I have been known to use abundance, which is great for, uh, we could all use a little abundance right now. This oil we drop into our wallets and is um, just makes us more open to the abundance around us. And if we can get some extra money out of it, great. Um, and then some people like to use purification, which is our um, diffu not diffuser, but our essential oil blend that's great for purifying odors. So instead of using like Febreze or something else that masks the odors, this actually gets rid of the odors. Now, I don't love the aroma of this coming out of the dryer, but it is something that'll add to like stinky laundry. And I will talk to you about laundry later on another day. All right, so that's it. Um, we've got our container. I've already put some of the distilled uh, white vinegar in. It's I use about, honestly, I don't really measure it. Um, I use, let's see, this will be roughly 
one and a half cups. Yeah, we'll say one and a half cups. <laughs> you can certainly make the um, make it bigger or make it less depending on the size of the container you have. Um, and then before you add these, you're going to add your essential oil. So um, today I'm going to do grapefruit. I love grapefruit. Oh, it's so uplifting. It smells so good. Um, and you're going to put in about 25 drops of essential oils. Uh, so I'm going to do half. Okay, that was 16, so that was not half, but um, I really like, I prefer that kind of freshen um, aroma. And then I'm going to do a little bit of lavender because uh, we can all use a little bit of calm in our lives these days. <laughs> so. And so somewhere between 25 and 30 drops is what you want to put in. All right, so then you're going to take your folded up flannel pieces. And like I said, and then you're just going to drop them in. Now the purpose or the goal here is that you don't want these saturated when you put them in the dryer. And you only need one, maybe two, if it's a really, sometimes if I have a really bigger, a bigger load, then I will um, put two in. Or if it was like the dog laundry or something like that. So while you think that this probably isn't going to be enough because right now the vinegar is way down there and I have packages way up here, um, it's plenty because like I said, you don't want it saturated. And if anything, if it's too saturated, you want to squeeze out that extra vinegar before it goes into the dryer. And that's it. You have homemade dryer sheets. You add one to two of them to your dryer. You are not only um, saving your health because dryer sheets are um, full of uh, toxic chemicals that can be harmful, uh, cancer causing, hormone disruptive. Um, they can trigger asthma attacks, other things like that. Um, so not only are you saving your health, but you're also saving your neighbor's health because when they walk by your house, they're not smelling the aroma coming out of their dryer vent, which I can't stand. Yes, vinegar, uh, distilled white vinegar is the key component. Um, and, but also, I'm not sure if you ever think about this, but when you take stuff out of the dryer um, and you've had a dryer sheet in there, then um, you hang it in your closet, then it continues to off gas in your closet. And so you're going to continue smelling it. Then when you go to put the clothes on, you're going to be wearing the clothes and those chemicals that are from the dryer sheets are going to be rubbing on your skin. And your skin is your biggest organ, friends. It absorbs everything, but it is also our first line of defense. Um, and if we are soaking it with chemicals and it causing this what's called bioaccumulation, where it's being accosted with chemical after chemical after chemical, eventually um, your insides are not going to be very happy with you. So that is my easy peasy recipe. Uh, what is the ratio again? Okay, I'm gonna say I did uh, one and a half cups of distilled vinegar, and I did 20, you can do 25 to 30 drops of essential oil. Um, I did 30, and however many of these was. Uh, the flannel, and I just, like I said, I did scraps, um, I, or I had random big pieces that I didn't, don't even think I cut them, or I, I didn't measure them. I say six, six by six, tear them if you have to, but just, you know, little chunks that are six or seven by inches or rectangle, whatever is easy. Don't make it complicated. Um, then I just folded them up so that it'll be easy that right now I have to go put a load in uh, to the dryer. Um, I will add one of these in and this is perfect. It's not overly saturated. Um, if you have too much vinegar in there, then add a couple more pieces of this um, and then you're good to go. Easy peasy. If you have any questions, guys, let me know. Stay healthy and sane.